Hey, hi, hello team. My name is Monique, just in case you weren't aware. This is The Cauldron, and today we are looking at some beautiful, beautiful books. In case you were not aware, this is Book Reviews, my channel. Yes, that is how I introduce myself now. I review and look at books and shout about books and cry occasionally on here. But today we're going to talk about some sapphic books. And yes, I had to look up what sapphic meant, even though I use it continuously and it means what I think it means which is um, it is relating to lesbians lesbian things or female female romance it can also relate to Sappho who is thought of as the first lesbian slash bi poet from ancient Greece and that's what we're going to talk about today so I have some recommendations for books in case you were wondering where them gays at yes that was a quick little reference to Dead Good Book Reviews, a delightful song, which I think you should look at. I will link it down below. Anyways, let's go. Let's do it. I think I have eight books. Let's start with the ones that I don't have in physical form yet. I will have them. The first one is A.K. Larkwood's The Unspoken Name, which is an orc priestess who was meant to be a sacrifice turned spy who is trying to topple a kingdom. And there are some delightful, delightful sass, some sibling-like rivalry almost in a way that is never romantic which is my absolute favorite and then there is this soft cinnamon roll romance between our most beloved main character and this beautiful young girl and i just i love them so much the world is incredible and humongous and it includes like almost layers of worlds and there is this mist that you travel through on ships and i literally want to live there even though i would definitely die very fast also love the fact that our main character is not a human she is an orc which is just it's just wonderful I loved it. It came out in the beginning of the year, the 11th of February, and I just, I highly recommend this one. It's just goodness. Next up is The Midnight Lie by Marie Rukowski, which is another very sweet cinnamon roll, sassy baby complication. So basically this is a young adult fantasy from the author of The Winner's Curse, I believe it is. I've never actually read that series. Apparently we're loosely in the same universe, but you know, life. Anyways, in this we follow Niram, who is part of her like countries or her islands, uh, lower class. And this lower class has access to basically nothing. They can eat fancy things. They're not allowed to wear bright colors. They are continuously punished by the upper class who has magic. And then we meet Sid, who is this lovable, roguish character who comes in, meets Niram and basically says, the upper class has this magic that you didn't know about. What would you do to get it? And it's just wonderful. The ending, oh my god, you guys just no. So good. Okay, just be prepared for this. In case I haven't mentioned it yet, all of these books are books from 2020, aka they were published in 2020, the year of but I thought it's important to shed light on the books that I love the most. Well, Yes, basically, I will love a book. Definitely give it more of a thing if it has some queer content, because that's all I'm looking for all the time. And also, I did another video earlier this year. It makes me slightly awkward and cringy to look at it, but it is 10 queer recommendations for some of my like other queer loving book stuff. Anyways, let's continue. Next one is this one. This is Lady Hotspur by Tessa Grattan. It came out in January. I adore this book. This is a adult fantasy, yeah, adult fantasy, uh, female, female romance epic. Basically, it is a retelling of a Shakespeare play, which one I am still not entirely sure. In it, we follow three young women as their like paths collide and clash. And we sort of have this, um, prince who didn't used to be a prince because because her mother like took over the throne we have the used to be heir to the throne and then we have lady hotspur who is a female general knight and i love them and this world is just a wonderful tessa grattan also wrote queens of innes lear and we are connected to that book but not by the same characters and it is just 
a mind fuck. It is a very deep dive fantasy, so you definitely have to have your like head screwed on to read this book. But it is one of my absolute favorite books from this year because when I think about it, it just makes me like one melt because Hotspur is like the hot of the hot, and it's just it's wonderful. The only thing it it's it's very sexual, which is fine for me, but the way that it describes the sexual, it's a little bit why okay next up we got the winter duke by claire eliza bartlett this is a young adult a fantasy female female romance where we are basically in this like ice kingdom or ice city where our young protagonist basically her entire life has been trying to get into a university to get away from her family who is all very obsessed about becoming king and queen and she just does not want it and then all of a sudden she is that her family gets a sleeping cursed and all of a sudden she is the heir to the throne and this kingdom basically has this uh, connection to the people below because they live on this ice lake basically and they have magic from down there and it's very very intense and interesting but the best part is the fact that our main character ends up basically being engaged to her older brother's warrior bride it's wonderful just wonderful then we got this one this is witches of ash and ruin by e latimer which is a magical realism young adult book in it we follow a young bi witch and a i'm guessing also bi witch or possibly lesbian witch in our own world we have a coven which is like a wonderful like togetherness i adore this the plot is very simplistic in a sort of way and basically we follow a young woman who has ptsd because of being outed in her school as a bi it is a very religious small town that she lives in and in comes this young woman right at the point of these serial killings starting again in the area that she is in and it turns out that it is connected to her coven and it's just it's wonderfully weird the magic is wonderful it's like i think there's a sequel i'm not entirely sure but we got sapphic content and it's just like it's like new love beautiful and i love that it's just goodness team then we have the first of the pushed corona babies but it does not take away from the fact that this is a new favorite and i cannot wait to see what more this author has in store it had a publishing date earlier in the year which was pushed to june and it's this baby so this is queen of coins and whispers by helen cochran which is a wonderful political intrigue like medieval set almost fantasy novel because we don't actually have magic in here and in it we follow a young queen as she takes over basically this bankrupt kingdom and one of the first things she does which is hire a spy master and it is a young nobleswoman who is like below the like the general courts who is out to revenge her father and they fall in love and the pining is real and it's just the characters in here are wonderful i cannot wait for anything more that this author comes up with possibly a sequel i really want a sequel because this is just wonderful also the best friend is just magnificent and the the, the feelings the feelings in here are real team they're real the second to last little book came out in july and it's this baby this is the fairy loot edition of girl serpent fawn by melissa basherdoust which is a persian inspired fairy tale retelling of i think like maybe rapunzel slash sleeping beauty not entirely sure basically we have a princess who is poisonous to the touch who has her entire life been hidden away like basically in this secret room in this palace where her family only is part of the year and she basically finds out that her mother has been keeping secrets she needs to choose whether or not she wants to keep in the background or whether she wants to step into the light and there is a wonderful love triangle beautiful by representation the language and the setting in here is stunning you can really feel those like persian inspirations coming through and i just i love this and also just it the inside of the book matches the outside of this book because it's literally stunning and so is this just just fyi can't believe i just said fyi last but not least on our list 
is this little baby? This is Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Barron, which is a young adult fantasy retelling of Cinderella, but not in the way that you would normally think. This is set 300 years after Cinderella sort of had her like happily ever after, but in this where we follow a young black girl basically the world has changed in the way of young women have to go to this ball where they basically get married off so it's not like Cinderella is the happy ever after it's more like Cinderella is their religion and our young protagonist has basically been in love with her best friend for, for as long as she can remember and she sets out to basically break down the patriarchy it's wonderful it's very YA still really loved it i can't put this cover because it's absolutely stunning and i did really like like aspects of this so i highly recommend that you pick it up even if you are maybe not into ya but if you're into queer sapphic content then you would like to have this that's a stack of queer content for you give me some more sapphics i am always 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 on the lookout for anything that sounds like it might have female female romance or female to non-binary romance i will take all of it basically anything queer content and you can guess that i will want it and i'm just i'm very stoked i'm hoping that you guys will pick up some of these let me know if you read any of these or what did you think at the same time you can hit the little thumbs up button it looks like this it brings me happiness you can also click the little subscribe button just so you won't miss out on any other videos from me if you click the little bell you will get a notification whenever i put up a video and then it will just be wonderful for both of us because magic and i'll be happy and also then i just hope that you're having a great day i don't know if i will be uploading another video later this week because it is my birthday on monday i'm very pumped for it and then i hope you guys are having a wonderful time and a wonderful weekend remember that i'm proud of you and you're doing great bye team Today we are doing some exciting stuff. Sounds bad. Blah, blah, blah.